very crucial for him to actually win this competition. Since the competition he's joining is actually a diving competition, right? <laughs> <laughs> And that's very crucial. No, 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 no smile and don't laugh. Ah, this is serious, yeah? Okay. And so, when he knew that, he was so heartbroken. He felt like all of his struggles, all of the training, all of the sweat and drop was all wasted just because of the one accident. And so when, the doc when he met the doctor, and the doctor said to him like this, Sir, I'm sorry, but I think for now, you have to rest. Maybe for the whole year. But if Mary got worse, I'm so sorry to say, but I think you just have to quit. And when he heard those words from the doctor, his first response was just to get out of the office and get home. And when he was home... Well, what did he tell the doctor? What he did, did he tell oh, yeah, good one. Nothing. He just like, when he heard the doctor say that, it's like, he started, tears started coming out of his eyes. He just slammed out the door, just get back home. And when he was home, he just trashed out his whole home. He just smashed it some, some furniture. At that moment, he was so depressed. Just try to imagine, you trained five years of your life for a big moment. And then all of that struggle, <coughs> all of that training was all wasted. Just like that. Just imagine that. And while he was smashing his whole house, he had to stop for a few moments because his back was actually hurt from the injuries. And he cried. He just sat down and cried. And for that, he was so depressed that he didn't eat at all. He just didn't want to eat. He didn't have the feelings to eat anymore. He just like stops. Like for that moment, in his life, he just felt like there's no use, there's no point of living anymore. What's the point of me even being here? And then he's just like, yeah, I'm dead. That's what he felt. Then, he just sits down and started thinking. His mind started to flash back, like all of the training that he's been through, all the struggles. He started just reminding all of it. And then at one moment, he's just like, no. This injury will not affect me at all. I will not stop. I will not give up. Sorry, I want you to be more forceful delivering that line. No. No! I won't, no. I won't stop. I won't give up. I will continue. I will strive for my dreams that I've been that I've tried to achieve my whole life. Then he just went and met his, met his coach. At the time he when he met his coach. Met. Met his coach. That was just like one week before the tournament, before the championship. And he said to his uh, coach, Coach, I want to join this competition. Although with my injuries, I believe I can join this competition. I can win it. And his coach is like, what? No, you can. If you join this, you will have, you have made your injuries even worse. Then you cannot join this any of the competition anymore. <coughs> you know what he said? He said, Pat his coach and he says, Coach, it's fine. It's gonna be my last stand. It's gonna be my last tournament, my last competition. And then that's all. I just want to achieve my one and only dream I ever want in my life. And so he said to his coach, This whole week, I won't be training. But then, I will just immediately join the competition without training. And that's what he said to his coach. So in the day, of competition. He went there, even with the injuries. And so he went, and the competition starts. He do all the dives, fluently. Even with the pain, even with the injuries that he felt, even though even every time he jumps, he feels like his back is just gonna burst out and just, just start crying. Every time he jumps, he cried. Because it was so painful, but he's still doing it. You know why? Because it was so painful. It was so painful. Ah. But he still do it. And you know why he still do it? Why? It's because of the will. <coughs> the will that he always planted in his heart. Deep down, he said, I will never give up. 
I will win this competition no matter what. No matter how painful I have to go through, it's okay, it's just obstacles. I can go through all these obstacles. And so he did. And miraculously, he won that competition. He won gold. And he knew after that competition, he wouldn't be able to join any, any of the competition. He would have to quit diving for the whole of his life. And that's literally what happened. <coughs> and this story, my friends, it's about me. that athlete that I've been telling you guys all the stories about, is actually me. That's what I've been through. I am that athlete that broke his backbone, that goes through a competition under pain. I know it's good, it's that's me. So, what I want you guys to take from my speech is that no matter what, or no matter how much life gives you, no matter how big the obstacles there in front of you, never give up. Keep on trying. Just chase your dreams as long as it's still there. The only time you can stop, the only time you give up, is when you're dead. When you're really dead, you can't do anything. That's when you really give up. As long as life still flows through you, Keep on chasing your dream, never stop. And I also want to point this, this point speech also to my friends out there that are going to take a competition next week. Please don't give up. Keep on trying. Even, even if you lose, don't give up. There's still hope. I believe in you guys. Okay? And so, uh, that's, um, that's the whole thing I want to talk to you guys about. Of just never give up in life, no matter how big the obstacle is. Thank you. And therefore, I am very proud to be so, so thank you to all of you. And okay. Uh,